Vitautis Genusitis from uh, Lithuania will be in lane one. Michael Phelps next to him in lane two. Again, already the winner of three events here. Remember back to the uh, Indianapolis Grand Prix swam four events and set up fastest time in the world in each of those at that time. Tyler Clary, who won the 400 meter freestyle on day two, will be in lane three. Austria's Marcus Rogan will be in lane four. A backstroke specialist. And second at the European Championships last summer. And Us Maluli, who swore to us yesterday he wouldn't <laughs> swim the 200 meter breaststroke at the World Championships or at the Olympic Games after he won that event yesterday. Us Maluli out of Tunisia, a reigning 1500 meter freestyle gold medalist. And there is the young David Nolan that you were speaking of earlier. And he's always getting in these finals, but he's butting up against the likes of Phelps and Clary and Rogan and Maluli. But uh, David Nolan headed for Stanford is an outstanding prospect. 29 year old Robert Margalis out of the fast swim team will be in lane seven and Enrique Rodriguez from Brazil will be at the top of the pool in lane eight. Oh this is a heck of a field. And, and Ryan Lochte the world record holder is not even in this. He saved it to swim the 200 back. He's swimming. He's coming up in the 200 back but he's not even in this race. So can you imagine if he got in there too. And how does this event break down stroke wise with respect to Michael Phelps? Two, two keys for Michael I think first of all the first 100 how he manages that early speed and how he feels in the water. Let it flow don't force the pace here the first hundred feel comfortable at the hundred turn and then the second key is that third 50 how he comes off the breast of free with that normal great underwater. Uh, drive that he usually has or will he come up like he did in the 200 butterfly and pop right up about seven meters off the wall looking pretty smooth right now early on right there in lane number two is his vulnerability in the next stroke in the breaststroke well if you think about it there's Zeus Malula he won the 200 breast and he's staying right with Phelps early on in fact this feels pretty even kind of what we thought going in and keep an eye on Clary he won the 400 freestyle earlier so his freestyle has improved dramatically breaststrokes his worst stroke though so I expect to see Phelps to go by him keep an eye on Maluli if he keeps it close at the end he could be a huge factor right now Michael Phelps just taking a slight lead over Tyler Clary in lane three who did turn first after 100 meters Clary in lane three and Marcus Rogan swimming a very nice race so far right next to the lane line yeah, in lane four and you're right Rogan was in the 200 breaststroke at also but there's I keep going back to Maluli because he's got probably at this point the strongest freestyle coming home the last 50 but boy what a great turn by Michael that's the kind of turn you like to see by Michael Phelps coming off that last wall will he be able to hang on not sure because there's Maluli but he had a good turn Phelps in lane two next to him is Clary Usmaluli Usmaluli coming on up in lane five right down to the wall Michael Phelps in lane three in lane two, Phelps and Maluli. Who gets it? Michael M Maluli touches first. Maluli touches first in 159.42, and Michael Phelps 159.63. You were right, Maluli coming on. I, I, you know, I just had a feeling the way Maluli has been swimming these Grand Prix. He had a great 200 breast, so I knew his back half was going to be very special, and he kept it close. He never lost sight of Michael just doesn't look quite as high in the water as I've seen him in the past and had a lead here it yeah. was only over the last 15 or 20 meters that Maluli was able to overtake him up there in lane five and you can see clearly touched him out by maybe a, a foot or more Us Maluli maybe not so big a surprise yesterday we know you're not going to swim the breaststroke anymore but that was a great win first and foremost congratulations what a finish in the freestyle Thanks, that was fun. I haven't done the 2 a.m. in a while. Like I said, I've been playing around with these two new events kind of this weekend, and I feel like a 12-year-old going best times again, so it's fun. T talk about the race, Us. This is Roddy. At the 100 mark, could you see Michael? Could, could you sense where you were at in the race? No, I could only see Marcus, really, and I knew Marcus had a good first half since he's a really good backstroker. Just kind of wanted to swim my own race, and uh, 
uh, you know, keep my head down that last 50 and go home, bring it home as fast as I can. So could you see Michael at all the last 50? Or could oh, yeah, you I was looking you at the last 50. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at those. You weren't really minutes. putting your head down. Come on, buddy. You were actually looking. <laughs> Whenever I took a breath, I, you know, I took a look at Michael <laughs> trying to, you know, give it that last push and work that well. Oos, uh, Paul Sunderland here again, and thanks for your time. Hey, Are you surprised by these results? Yeah, it's really fun when you surprise yourself in these events, especially when you come in and you have no really big expectations since these are not my main events. So it's definitely a lot of fun. Oos, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Way guys. to go. Great race once again. Oos Maluli from Tunisia touches out Michael Phelps in the 200 IM.